Check, 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 check. All right. Oh crap, we're live. Oops, I dropped my comb. <laughs> this is a great start of the show. Hey, what is it, the 12th? The 13th. 13th. It's the 13th, there's a rollabout in my way. Um, this is Josh XO's Weapon of Choice. Season two, episode three. This is my model, Krista. We're, we're gonna cut some hair today. And I'm also manning the camera, and I'm not gonna be looking at chat because well, Katie's not here. She's still at work. So, that's why we're running a little behind. Because I have no help and I'm totally like useless without her. Jacob, are you leaving? Yeah. Um, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be good. <laughs> Jacob did um, the makeup and he's awesome. Um, all right. Ready to assist? Yeah, yeah, you just hang out right there. You just hang out right there. And then when I look really needy, <laughs> I'm like, go fetch, <laughs> or something like that. Um, we have assistants in the house. Hi. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Um, yeah, so I won't be reading the chat for like 20 minutes or something. Um, what are we doing on Chris's hair? Let's think about this. Um, you wanted to leave the length, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to leave some length, but if we look at the back here, if you guys can see, um, the ends are quite th fine and thin. Um, I don't mind a little bit of texture, but this just looks a little too out of control. Um, it almost looks like small chihuahuas chewed on the ends. So we want to firm this up a little bit and just take the length up. And then I'm going to show you guys um, a combination of triangular layers. So we'll be pulling everything back and then a combination of round layers. We're going to put a nice like um, square fringe in and then we're going to connect this top to the fringe and then we're going to pull everything back. So it creates kind of a diamond shape. So the nice part of that is that we remove a bit of weight from the front and we remove the weight from where we really need to, which is uh, right through the back there. So that's what we're going to do. I know, it's funky, cool. Um, you, you know what you can do to help me out real quick here? I can have you watch chat. So if anything really important happens, okay. um, just look right here and you'll see where it says, uh, actually, let's go right here, right there. And it says all comments. If anything pops up or it says new comment, mm -hmm. and then just yell whatever one's, anyone said. Unless it's like stupid, then <laughs> then don't say anything at all. Um, so yeah, spraying down Chris's hair. Um, so as you guys know, this show is live every week from Federico. Uh, second and fourth Thursdays are mine, and first and third Thursdays are Adams um, for Federico Live. So being that we're live from uh, Federico this weekend, we have Andrew Carruthers, who's the artistic director for um, Sambia. And he's doing some advanced education here. So if you got nothing to do on, what is it? I think professional days Monday, mm -hmm. then uh, come check it out. Cause he's a pretty cool cat. He owns Lunatic Fringe out in, um, I was going to say Mormon country, um, Utah. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to be in the Northern California area, or if you're not going to be, you now have a great reason to be in Sacramento to come to a class. So, yeah, there's that. All right, I don't want to get it soaking wet, but this, uh, this spray bottle that I love because it's all mini, it's very mist-like, so it doesn't get the hair soaking wet. All right, so let's begin. I am going to start in the back. Um, because the ends are so kind of shattered, 
I'm not going to mess with the, uh, the length first. I'm actually going to do my layers first. And that way, I can go back and firm up the length as I need to, as opposed to doing a lot of layers and then like doing the length, doing a lot of layers and then going, oh, wow, I'm back to where I was over texturizing it. Um, this way I can just like kind of chop out all that length as I need to. Let's see, what else do I got going on? What else is new in my life? Oh, can you hand me a couple of clips, please? Yeah, they're gold ones. <laughs> gold YS Parks. Because YS Parks are amazing and also available from hairbrain.pro, which is where we get all our tools from. Because Randy and Gerard are awesome. What is the camera? Um, oh. Green bag. Green bag. Green bag. It's so funny when I go to a hair show, I have so many bags now because I have like my cutting bags and then I have like all these camera bags and I'm a total bag lady. Except my bags are expensive, just the bags. I feel like camera gear is kind of like weddings where as soon as that word happens, like people just go, oh, we'll charge double. double. So if you're a photographer, like all bags charge more, I cost more. Is that the huh. Oh, maybe in that cabinet is my scissor case in there. Oh, your scissor case is in there. Oh yeah, they should be clipped on the scissor case, yeah? Do I have no clips? Weird, okay, well screw clips. I'm done with clips. You want this clip? Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> cool. Welcome to Weapon of Choice. My choice is one clip. I will destroy you with one clip. All right. Cool. So let's bring this up. Oh, see? Okay. So I know that's kind of my length there. Oh, I'll take all of these. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to take this up. I know that this is my length around here somewhere. So as long as I don't touch that, I'm going to be safe. So let's bring it up. Length. Let's cut some layers. Cutting layers for fun and profit. Mm. And I'm just going to keep these sections going. And I'm going to stand on this side of the haircut the whole time. In that way, I'm making sure that I'm cutting from the length to the interior. That way, I'm making sure that I'm not chopping into my length. And I'm just pulling everything into center. Let's see. Yeah, you guys can see that. Wow. You guys... You guys remember the first season of Weapon of Choice, I never had any blondes on the show. I don't think I had one single blonde on the show. I had a strawberry blonde on the show. Um, but I never had like blondes on the show. And now I've had like blondes two weeks in a row. This is amazing. Long. What's that? Not that long. You're blonder than anyone I ever had on the show. <laughs> Plus I lived in a really dark basement. Well. So like you couldn't see like any of the haircuts being done <laughs> on brunettes because it was like dark and shadows. All right. So we're just bringing that straight up. Boom. All right. So since I brought it to the center, if I did my job correctly, we can see the layers go kind of short to long. And bring that up again. So like I said, I'm, even though I'm working on this side now, I'm still standing on her left side. And we'll keep that going. How many viewers I got right now? Like five? No what? Zero? Hmm. hmm. Something's afoot. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Right? No view? No. Oops. Let's go back. 
Do I need to refresh it for the comments mm -hmm. to show? No. Oh, ah, ah, no. That's going to feed back. Okay. Uh, open link to a new tab. We got nine watching. There we go. Okay. Usually ramps up a bit. Cool. Thank you so much for helping me out. Me? Yeah. No you know, that's the great thing about doing the show from like a beauty, from, you know, having our cosmetology school here is like, just like for the week, I need a model. Just go into the cafe. Like, hey, you need a haircut. Come <laughs> hang out with me Thursday night. And then we have night classes here too. So just grab whoever's looks bored. You didn't look too stoked about working on that mannequin head. You look pretty bummed out about it. <laughs> Alright, cool. So you can really see we've created a much nicer little head shape here just by taking off that bit of length. So I'm going to go up one more section now. And I'm going to the division point of the ear each time. And back. And this is going to be kind of a quick show um, tonight because I think the last two shows I did really hard, like little graduated things. Um, so tonight layers is a bit easier and I got a lot of media work to finish up too. So I am just so busy lately. All right. So there is my previous layer. So I'm just going to continue right through this crown area right check it there we go nice amount of layers there and you'll notice like my sections are slightly diagonal i'm not pivoting off of one place i'm kind of taking them um, a little bit diagonal um, it's really hard to get kind of a triangular shape when you pivot. So by taking these like kind of wonky little diagonals, I'll make sure that I'm pulling away from the perimeter and that our layers continue to go short to long. Let's see what else we got going. HVA is our next month. Um, Hairbrain has those announced, $55 at some swanky club in New York. I hope I win. I don't know if I'm going, but I hope I win because mm -hmm. I could really use a new camera. Actually, I don't really care. I'm not that into competitions. I think the cool thing is, is there's no entry fee or anything like that. But since I've started doing like photography, I've opened, I've entered a couple like photography like competitions just like little online ones and man it makes me such a nervous wreck and i know there's no chance in hell that i'm ever gonna like win one but i decided that i just don't have the pri proper mind state mindset for competitions oh cool randy's watching i'm sorry that google plus hates you randy I think you should open a fake Google account. Yep. All right, still with these diagonal sections, pushing up into the center. And the great thing about starting off with the center is that if I change my mind and want to do more layers, right, it's easier to do more layers than if you already did too many layers. You don't want to have to like super glow them back on. So by pulling to the center, like when I learned under DJ, like he would always do like his graduation and he'd pull everything in the center and then go, that's too heavy. And then he'd work his way around straight back and then he'd work his way around. And if you watch Tim Hartley cut, um, you'll notice like he'll cut like the same section, like three different times. And it's amazing. And he just keeps evolving and evolving and evolving the shape. Um, I really identify with that way of cutting because I'm not someone that's like, 
I don't think I'm good enough at hair that I can just like look at it and see it and nail it the first shot. I kind of got to mess around with it a little bit to get it into place where I want. And I'm liking that shape. All right, so I'm done with the back for now. You still notice there's a little bit of a diagonal. This will hang over that unless I do something with it, which I will do something with it. I'm just not ready to do something with it yet. I am going to attack the fringe first. Oh, Adam's going to kill me. What a jerk. <laughs> fired. I am so fired. If he's even watching. If he's watching, I'm screwed. He was sick this week. He'll be some laying in bed miserable. Damn, there I go, getting fired again. I haven't been fired this week. I haven't been fired at all from this job yet. <laughs> and I've been here six months now. You think I would have been like fired like once or twice already? <laughs> you guys don't know who Adam is. Adam's my, my boss, one of the Federico brothers. And his show, whoa, that's a jumpy hairline. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. No, it usually isn't. It's oh. like blow dry. <laughs> oh, it's just happy to see me. Hey. <laughs> Hey, little hairline. Um, Bring it down, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Okay, I'm scared. I'm really scared. All right, this is the last time I ever listen to a client <laughs> and or model. Oh, that's right. I don't take clients anymore. Exactly. All right. Well, if you hate them, it's not my fault. Okay. You gave me permission. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna hold them straight out. Low elevation, cause with that jumpy wonky hairline, <laughs> if I start like holding it up too much, then it's gonna remove too much weight off of it. And I feel like I want as much weight laying on that as possible to help keep it down. So I'm just taking these, uh, Kind of vertical sections. I don't know. There's the whole argument of what happens to bangs or what happens to the fringe section when you get to the top here because we go vertical, right? So if I'm taking sections like that, is that vertical? But it seems like it's vertical. So there's this weird like Bermuda triangle that happens right there. Um, so you'll hear some people say horizontal. You'll say see some people say like vertical. I really don't give a crap. Um, I guess if my fingers are horizontal, it's a horizontal section. That's all I care about. Though technically it could be a vertical section too. I, uh, if, I, if I told you what it was, I would just be repeating someone. And uh, that wouldn't be my own opinion. So what is it? Is it vertical or horizontal? It's whatever you want it to be. If anyone fights with you about it, let them win. Just be like, I got better things to worry about, sucker. You know, there seems to be like this crazy trend in the hair world, especially like with people like making videos and stuff like now and stuff now. Like I see in like pictures are easier to make and videos are easier to make. I see all these people like really over complicating hair now like they want to like come up with their theories or they're just copying other people's theories and passing it off like they're an expert i'm guilty of that um but it's really funny because like a lot of these people just have no taste and it's one of those things where you can get as mathy and as geometric about hair cutting as you want and know all the terminology or come up with your own terminology. But if you don't have taste, it doesn't matter. It's like someone who knows everything there is to know about fabric, you know, how it's made and how rare fabric is. But then they're still like mixing plaid and polka dots, you know? They can tell you everything about the fabric it's made on, but they still look like shit when they go out in public because they don't have any taste. Um, 
So yeah, understand, learn enough theory to where you understand it. But even more importantly is to look at fashion magazines and stay current and architectural magazines, like all that artsy shit. Look at that, develop your taste. Um, you don't even need to subscribe to magazines. Just look at photo websites and see like, look for some tasteful shit because that's, that's what's going to take you further. You know, um, all those people that you see at the hair shows that put out really good work, but l have no technical experience and look like they're butchering hair. That's the one thing they do have is they have a good eye. Um, and I think it's almost more important to have taste and um, a good eye than technical knowledge because you can kind of make it work if you know what looks good. I mean, ideally you want to be good at both, but you know, there's a reason that when people apply for jobs at Sassoon, one of the questions they ask is who's your favorite clothing designer? Um, because they want to get a sense of your taste level. So if you say juicy couture, <laughs> you're probably, you're probably not going to be working there. Um, cause they want to see that you're current and you're into cool stuff. Honestly, I wouldn't know. I would say Gautier. He's pretty. Or Rick Owen. Rick Owens is awesome. You guys should Google his 2014 show. Um, if you guys look at the Federico Advanced YouTube, um, we just had Garrett Markinson and Darren Basford up here. And they're from Reverie and they have a product called Milk and it's amazing. And I think Katie stole it. Is there a little black bottle around over there? No, Katie stole it, didn't she? Yeah, my girlfriend stole it. Here. What's that? It was up here, and now there's not. Mm, all right. Well, I was going to use it, but my girlfriend stole it. Um, we just made a video with them, and it's, it's really, really awesome. And I recommend checking it out. It's called uh, Reverie Visits Federico, and things got, get weird. All right, so now I'm working short to long. And I'm using these bangs here as my guide. And I, once again, I'm pulling everything to center, right? Because that'll help maintain this weak length here. And I'm cutting, and you'll notice the angle of my fingers. My finger angle is vertical. And the reason for that is that helps me achieve a much steeper angle from short to long in this way than if I actually try to physically cut in. So it's really hard for me to actually get there with that angle. But if I pull everything forward, then you can see how much length that creates there. So especially like if you're working on really long hair and you're a shorty, um, that really helps quite a bit because you can keep the tension, but you can also maintain this length and you're not trying to do this steep angle. So we kind of pull it forward and angle this way as opposed to like trying to keep going. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Oh, you had a client or you have a client? I had a client. Oh, okay. How did your client go? Good. It was my boyfriend's mom. Okay. So did you jack her up? No, oh. she only tipped me $40. Oh, right? that's good. So that's good. I never got tipped $40 when I was in school. I'm really jelly. I, I looked at it and I was like, Jesus, cool. All right. I'm going to treat myself to some food. There you go. No, no, it's cool. Yeah, you hang out. There we go. So doing the short to long. You can see, even though I connected with her bangs, we still have this strong fringe line, and then we still have these interior layers here, and she still maintained her length too. But it just gives it a much nicer kind of overall rounded filling. So if you look at this side that I haven't cut yet, you can see how kind of dog-eared it feels, but this side is much kind of looser and more rock and roll. It's pretty cool, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I didn't jack you up. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. 
All right. So once again, staying right here, I'm staying put to work into the interior and work from my length. So we're just going to bring this up into the center, fingers up and cut. And then I keep taking horizontal sections and bringing them up to the center. Um, do one of you guys want to search my green bag for a blow dryer nozzle? I know, that's such a mess. I need to be organized. I'll probably need that round brush too. <laughs> it is. I don't cut much hair anymore, so I never really never really like go in there yeah thank you yeah i'm going to set it right there on that chair all right so i brought all the front forward and i layered the back so they're not really connected so i need to figure out how to connect them so if i go into this back area that i cut again and I cross check it because I brought everything into the center. If I cross check on the opposite dimension, I should see a layer that goes that way. If I did my job right. All right, so we'll bring it straight back. And there it is, right? Short to long, right? That's because it was brought in the center. So. I'm going to take vertical sections. I already cut the front, but I brought it forward. So I want to now bring it back into what I already cut in the back. And this is going to connect that front and back together. Let's see. Let's go this way. Yep, yeah, let's do an angle. Cool. And let's keep going. Right, and I'm working out short to long. Right, so it's all I'm doing is bringing the front into the cross check in the back. Wow, your hair's a little fried. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Were you dark before? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Very. Thought about going red? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> seem very strong about that. No. All right, so now here I'm going to stand in the front. So I am switching sides for a very important reason, and that's so that I protect the perimeter. And once again, I work short to long, right? So I'm working out from my length as opposed to coming this way. So this is pretty much the only point in the haircut where I do switch sides. And we'll just bring this all back, see if it reaches. And there we go. So there's a little bit right from the center. All right, shake it out. The hair is much more evenly distributed right now. Plus too, like all that stuff that, all that chemical coat disappeared off the top there. So it's kind of just a nice layer, a little bit shorter, not quite long layers, kind of more medium, not like short layers. The drone jet. Oh, why does that light always blow a fuse? I'm over these lights. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the length up. Hi, Katie showed up. What's up, lady? Hi, how was work? All right. You should have brought the puppies. I'm sure my audience misses them. We still at nine viewers. 13! Woo! Zero That's okay. It kind of takes people a little while to get warmed up to commenting. Yeah, so like Katie's here and stuff, so you guys can really start asking questions if you want. Or not. It's cool. I know. I just used the last one on 
that one and it just went. I get like a half hour out of it um, and they go, I need more now. I need new lights. I need Kino flows. That would be ideal. I did, well, I guess at this point, this would be a diamond shape haircut. So I did triangular layers in the back and then I brought everything forward, right? So if it goes short to, short to long and then short to long, that means all the weight lands right in the middle, which is actually really smart because that's the weakest part of the hairline is right around the ear. So if you pull forward and then pull back and the middle is the heaviest spot, that means you have the most protection right there under the ear spot. So it's kind of like been one of my little go-to shapes. Let's see, we'll work on this side. And you notice I just comb right down to the shoulder. I usually try and cut it where it lives as much as possible. Uh, I think Rob gave it to me from a year ago. Yeah. Stolen. Did you take the milk? At home, yeah. Why did I told you I was going to wash my hair last night because I was going to wash my hair. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Sorry, Garrett. Sorry. I meant to use it. Do you remember what it... I was like, no, you can't take it. I'm going to use it. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, so... She assured me that nothing would happen with that cow leg. So I'm going to start there and just pet it like a puppy. I'm actually going to go in with the comb. And her hair's got a little bit of a gummy like texture to it. So I'm just going to make sure like I'm going to try and dry it as much as possible before I go in there with the brush. Hi, Gordon. Oh, hi, Gordon. Everyone says that. Who said that? Okay. Sorry, Alex. Yeah, I know. I know. It's so clean. It's like a studio. But lights keep going out. So, yeah. I still have the same ghetto lights. They keep going out. I mean, I could cut in the dark. Wow, it got really dark on the screen. Sorry. So sometimes like when I'm trying to smooth hair like this, where I'm like, eh, it's kind of chewy. When it's kind of chewy and I don't want to like go through a brush with it with a brush, like you can use a flat brush, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll blow down and just like kind of cup the hair up with the roots. And so that way it doesn't get too flat, but I get like a little bit of, I get a lot of smoothing and shine on this top layer. But I also get a little bit of lift too. So it's just like you pet down and give a little lift up without having to like blast the hair all over the place. If you haven't tried this, I totally recommend it. Because it saves like a ton of time for some reason. Because you don't have to like go and wrap and wrap and wrap. Right, because if you have really chewy ends, like you're having to like chew through every time you wrap. So if you just like say, screw it, I'm not gonna go through it with the brush. And then you just keep moving down as the roots get drier and drier. 
you'll totally save yourself like 10 minutes that way. Trust me. Wow, it looks a little amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good. And look, those bangs are kind of doing what I, you said. I mean, they're not as perfect as I'd want them to be, but <laughs> what am I gonna do? Everyone okay? Everyone doing okay? Yeah, all right. I know, like, the cool thing is that my studio audience grows, like, every week. <laughs> they seem to suck more people into the void. So, like, next week, there's just going to be such a big crowd, you're not even... There won't even be room for the camera. You're going to have to hang the camera from the ceiling. What's that? Oh, more milk? Ooh. How many guys want to get the flat iron plugged in for me? I just saw it. It's around there. Oh well. Don't worry about it, I'll just round brush. Everything keeps disappearing today. Such a mystery. I don't know. Everything keeps walking away. It's so sad. I'm gonna have to round brush. I know. All right. Let's try it. All right, so you'll notice because I don't want a lot of volume, I'm keeping the round brush a bit low. Like I'm not really like jacking it up. I can like, I don't, you can still get like, pretty like smooth and flat with a round brush. You don't always need a flat brush and an iron. So in circumstances where you just happen to lose your flat iron and don't know where it went, just remember you can always work on a round brush. Things might be a little tricky. I might give her 90 small bangs, we'll no. see. Yeah, I might. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my flat iron. Okay. I don't know, because now I like feel all challenged just to do it with a round brush. I mean, if you have a big enough barrel, it's no big deal. I know this is really boring. I was supposed to have interviews set up for you guys, but I've been so busy lately. Like seriously, it was so much easier to do all this stuff. Like cross check and weapon of choice and all that. Cause really I had nothing to do in my life. Like I just sat around and played video games and did nothing else. So now that I actually have a job that requires like mental effort, I find I don't have time to like do all the things I need to do. So maybe on the fourth Thursday, I'll actually have an interview set up for you guys. Then we can talk to people, and then you don't have to watch my stupid face get all hot and sweaty and blow dry.
What's that? Oh, hey, I wonder why I'm wearing a freaking cardigan. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. I'm sweating like Martin Parsons over here. Oh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a cardigan. I'm hot and sweaty because I want to look like Weezer. I'm an idiot. Is it? I haven't round brushed in a long time, have I? Oh, I gave you old lady hair. That was awesome. So, if you guys notice, I haven't been very active on Facebook. The best place to get a hold of me is like Instagram. Um, I don't really like Facebook anymore. It's boring. Do you have any comments or questions? Or Something amazing. Yes, tell me your news. Yeah. You want to get in front of a camera and tell me your news? <laughs> Dale Ted Watkins, yes. He followed you on Instagram. Wow. How nice. My, my girlfriend has like a crush on everyone but me. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. She's in love with Morrissey and Elton John okay. and Yan Can Cook. Yan Can Cook. He had a TV show. His name was Yan. <laughs> he cooked Chinese food in a wok. He wrote a cookbook about walking. He was really funny. I guess he was a brutal businessman though. He had some like, he had some restaurants in like Orange County and he was brutal. Hi. Hi. Oh, is that a milk sample? Oh yes. yes. Well, I can put it on dry. Okay. Yeah, I'll use it dry. Janine, thank you. You made me happy. It was like product inception. Do do do. Oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys should go to Made by what is it? Garrett. Made by Garrett. GarrettMarkinson.com. Um, and you'll see a little thing called Reverie. And they're really cool. They just have one product. And they don't, I know, it's weird too that I'm talking about products on this show because I never do that. But I like them because they're independent and they just have one product and that's it. And that's all they use. And it's called Milk. And it's freaking great. And I'm not even like a big product user. I think they're stupid, but I do like I do like me some milk because you can use it wet or dry. It's like you don't need 20 bottles to do whatever. I probably shouldn't be saying that. Whatever. But yeah, use 20 bottles of milk on one head. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's funny because before I ever even really met Garrett, when I was in Russia doing an interview, like they're like, oh, so you hate products. And I'm like, yes, I, I absolutely hate products. And they're like, are there any you like? And I'm like, I don't know, there's some independent ones. like. You know, milk. And she's like, oh, I've heard of that. And so, I don't know, it was the first thing that came to my head. And I gave them a shout out in a Russian magazine. <laughs> but they, 
they're actually cool guys too, so. Wait, it's Krista, right? My my model last week was Crystal. Huh. My model next week is gonna be Christ. <laughs> she just took a minute, did it? Took a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and two months from now, and this is my model. <laughs> That'll be funny. See, I still got it, even though I'm not in a dirty basement. I'm still funny, right? I'm still... Right, guys? Right? You like me? Fuck. <laughs> I lost it. I don't have the basement. I'm not funny anymore. This sucks. You get too much vitamin D, that's why. I know. Like, I could, like, go a week without seeing the sun. It was awesome. Still. We could sleep for a week. We need blackout curtains. <laughs> My girl wasted? No, I said blackout curtains. So I'm just taking uh, diagonal sections back and I'm just uh, chopping, chopping in. I hate that word. I'm not chopping. I'm point cutting. I hate when people say that. I'm just chopping in. Just chopping into it. Shut up. Have some like, have some pride in your work. We don't chop. What are you, lumberjack? You chop some logs, idiot. All right, next diagonal section back. Gordon uh, was talking how to say milk in Russian. Who did? Gordon. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What is it? Maloko. Maloko. It sounds more like Spanish. It does. <laughs> well, that's good, considering every time I try and do a Russian accent, it sounds like a cello anyways. So... Baloco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't home. Oh, that just gave me a brilliant idea. We should we should come up with a milk flavored malt liquor. Maloco. Malocos. <laughs> Four malocos. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I would get so milk drunk. <laughs> <laughs> to get so white milk wasted. <laughs> it would. Wow. It would. I'm such a lightweight. I'm such a cheap date. <laughs> Fellas. Really? No one? That wasn't funny? No. <laughs> I'm just out there fishing. You hear that? I'm allowed to date Charlie. How about Jude Law from the talented Mr. Ripley? If he was Charlie Price. Hmm. How does that work? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. All right, let's bring this down. Cool. It's not as smooth as I w would want it because I lost my flat iron. But. I don't see any like definite lines. So that's, that's a good bonus plus. Whatever, I guess I'll just, sh I'll just Photoshop out the flyaways. I ain't too proud. I'll tell you my secrets. I, I Photoshop flyaways sometimes. I do it. I didn't used to. I used to have all these morals like, yeah, you can touch the hair. Yeah. Now I'm like, eh, clone stamp. I don't care. Flyaways are stupid. And I'm not going to deal with them. At least I'm honest about it. What? Oh. All right, so there's these weird little bits here. And those need to be rounded out a little bit. Because that's really long. So it's like this, this thing. I don't like it. It needs to go away. I'm mad at those things. Yeah, I know. What if they like become in fashion someday? What if that's the look? 
It's like these little side burning things. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna quit doing hair. Like if those little like sideburn things become the new ombre, I'm out. <laughs> See you guys later. I'm going to dental, dental hygiene school. Really? 75%? Well, yeah, because not even 25% do hair. Hmm. Right? Every girl on school. Well, I don't need to go because my mom told me how to brush my teeth, so I don't need school for that. <laughs> Morons. So just softening up these veins. I don't want to go like too buck wild on them because I do know she has that insane cowlick there. So just kind of a shallow point. Loosen up the end. Hey, give it another comb. That'll lighten up the top layer and still maintain your bottom layer. And then take this diagonal, do the same thing because you're a total baller. And up. And away. So looking good so far? You guys like it? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. I can do that. So it's still a little steppy right there, but that's that cowlick area. Hmm. Dilemmas. When in doubt, cut it out. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's just like this one little chunk that's like acting up on me. So I'll go a little deeper with the texture there because it bugs me. That's better. All right, let's let's get some milk in there. Wow, it's been so long since I talked about any products whatsoever that I all of a sudden like feel like a product pitchman. Well, you should, because it's good stuff. It is oh. good stuff. I know. It smells very manly. It's actually like more black licorice. I don't think mm -hmm. it's too manly. It's not manly. Pretty damn awesome. I did okay this time, even though I couldn't find a flat iron. I'm still pretty happy with it. Audience like it? Anyone, anyone think it's good? All right, one more. Sorry. <laughs> wow, Jacob, I left already. No makeup touch. No. <gasps> That's okay. I don't really get any like hair on your face anyways. Stop that. I don't care. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Moms aren't supposed to talk. What? Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't really use Twitter. Oh, oh, model, oh. oh, I'm a pro hairdresser. Oh, close up. Oh, 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 oh. All right, cool, enough of that. All right, so that's it, unless uh, we have any more questions. I'm gonna jet, because I got more stuff to do. 
so and Katie's hungry so yeah that's weapon of choice we're on yeah you can clap yeah I like that well yeah everyone um, so that's weapon of choice on every second and fourth Thursday of every month catch Federico live every first and third Thursday in the month with Adam my boss he's awesome he does a little more like razor cutting and stuff which like that's the great thing like I suck at razor and you guys will see me bleed everywhere so Adam likes the razor quite a bit so if you want to learn razor cutting you should tune in to Federico live and see more of that um, subscribe to all our YouTube channels um, you know it's all it's all down there it's all right there everywhere that you should be following me so yeah go there and uh, yeah Oh, Andrew Carruthers, this, this weekend, this Sunday, Monday, book a ticket. Come to San Sacramento. San, <laughs> come to San Ramento. <laughs> Sacramento. Andrew Carruthers, this weekend. Come look at trees. Bye. Yeah, there's a lot of trees here. See you guys later. All right, bye. Okay, just kidding. If you're watching live, we're actually going to do a photo shoot right now. So, ha! Ha ha! Take that, YouTube suckers. That's what you get for not watching live. You don't get to see this. Okay.